What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. We're taking a look at Diablo 4 here. Recommended settings for SteamOS and Windows. Now I have a couple videos already out testing this for early access and I was mostly on low and medium with FSR quality and since then I've kind of gone back to the way I was thinking in beta with no FSR and more like medium and high. So I wanna get back into that with this video. Of course we're running Battle.net here on uh, SteamOS with compatibility layer experimental being forced. And if you need to know how to install this, I'll have a link in the description for you as well. But that's how we're running things here and on the stable OS. Now, as far as our settings, we're gonna deal mostly with high in this video and some medium. I have some different recommendations when it comes to that. We're gonna keep FSR off for this video except for one little comparison 60 fps kept now but we're going to change that later high on the preset on af here we're going to come down to either four or eight i come down to four in windows i'm going to try eight here in steam os shadow quality is another one you could tick down the medium if you really feel like you need to but i'm gonna leave that on high pretty much leave these things alone as i go through here Clutter quality, you can turn that down to something like high or medium. This is one of the ones I would choose to turn down just to help things out a little bit because it's not going to affect me as far as visual quality as much as some of these other settings. Anti-aliasing, I'll leave up on high there. And the only other change down here is we're going to turn off the distortion, which does help with performance. Screen space reflections will leave on because they make a big difference as well. Now, you could adjust these settings any way that you like or prefer personally. This just happens to be me trying to squeeze as much visual quality out of this as possible, leaving FSR off, native resolution, pushing that GPU out there where I want it, and hopefully having good frame times here without a CPU bottleneck for this particular issue. And it does work really, really well. We get a nice frame right here, but you will see you're not going to hold 60 or even 40 necessarily all the time with with high if you get into some really busy stuff you'll see even under 40 happen 37 39 and i would imagine if you get a big group together and you're really going at it you're going to come under that 40 mark as well especially if you're not capped so the system resources are already being maxed out and of course in the towns and different areas those just don't generally run as well they're kind of like the social hub areas and they just don't run as well as the rest of the game so you will come under in those areas as far as fsr i am wanting to just keep that off just like back in the beta i think it does blurry things up a bit when it comes to character models now it kind of over sharpens some of the environment but character models lose a lot of detail i'll zoom in here and his helmet and armor still has its shine and glimmer to it as soon as we go over here to fsr quality everything gets really dull and blurry and that's just kind of the way of all the models and a lot of different details in the game and i just don't think it's worth it considering how good this game actually runs on the steam deck so i'm going to stick with that being off now we're going to go ahead and get into the next part of this which is a 40 fps cap which i think is just absolutely th this is the most perfect game for a 40 fps cap here so we've got things capped at 40 hertz and 40 fps in game and on the deck and this really mitigates a lot of the issues that you see with uh running around these cities and trying to keep it a little bit more steady now this area you probably are familiar with is horrible for performance so you'll see over on windows we actually get the same almost identical performance in this area like 37 38 and 39 fps here but we definitely can't just hold 40 all the time even locked in some of those areas with these high settings. But when you're out in the open world and in dungeons and playing just normal combat and everything, especially by yourself, you'll hold that 40 for the most part without too much trouble. I did show you some areas where you'll probably dip under and you might see some of that here. But for the most part, you're able to, with that 40 FPS cap, save yourself some battery, bring your temps down, bring your fan noise down, and get some pretty decent performance. Even if you do come under 40 from time to time again, in bigger groups and things like that, I could see it being more of an issue when things get really busy, and I'm certainly not into end game yet. I'm still going through the campaign, but just from what I've been seeing here, pretty decent. Now, the other recommendation I would make, and probably the way I'm still sticking with running the game, even though I think it looks fantastic, even on the Steam Deck smaller screen here at high, is the medium preset. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go ahead and turn SSAO up one just to give that a little bit more. I'm going to bump the clutter back to medium where I had it on the high setting there. And then I'm going to come down here and I'll do anti-aliasing back up to high. I just think it looks better as we get into things here with the game and we're able to handle it and we'll turn distortion off again. Now, for me, this pretty much just gets rid of some of those issues you have in the town and hub areas. You're still going to suffer performance wise in these areas. Just no matter what you do, it's going to happen. You are gonna have stutters and issues with the servers or whatever. But this will hold closer if you're looking for that 40 FPS more often and in these social hubs. So this takes a little bit more pressure off the system and gives you a little bit more leeway 
to pull that off and it works pretty well and getting it out in the open world or in combat or dungeons or anything of course it holds really well this way of course with medium and high can do that as well a lot of the time but i think medium will just give you that little bit of extra if that's what you're looking for especially in those town and hub areas for the most part and when you get into groups later on in the game and you're playing with a lot more going on on screen, I believe these settings will have a lot better chance at holding you that 40, which feels so clean in this game compared to 30, um, that I think it just will give you that benefit over high. But I haven't been in big groups or end game yet to see what happens with that, but I do know on screen stuff can get crazy in end game and in dungeons and in groups. So this setting might be more apt to hold that 40 than high when we get down the road, but for solo play and for what we've seen here, the high looks fantastic. As I switch back over here, I'll show you another example of running a high here with the 40 FPS cap out here in battle and a lot going on on screen. And again, this may not be in a group, but it's just an example. We're still able to hold 40 here, which is a little bit of a dip there. So really good that we can squeeze a lot more out of the game than I was originally thinking. I'm kind of going back to my beta way of thinking with the medium and the high and the 40 FPS and FSR off. I just think overall, especially character models look cleaner. All right, I wanna move over and take a look at Windows 11 now. So just like in my other videos, we're using Handheld Companion for the controls and Battle.net Launcher here, of course, and everything is at 720p. And we're pretty much gonna do the same thing we did over on SteamOS. And we're gonna go down and start with pretty much FSR off and 60 FPS cap, though we'll be changing that shortly, and high on our preset with some adjustments, which is basically the same as we did over on SteamOS, though I did opt to go ahead and come down to the 4X here on our IF instead of eight. It seemed to help me out a little bit more and more match the performance that I was looking for there. And then I basically left everything else alone the same as steam os come down here to clutter i did do that to medium for myself and come to the bottom and we'll do um, distortion turned off so that'll pretty much get us where we were except for that and uh, the af up top to be the same as steam os and with the uncapped frame rate you'll see very similar performance as to what you see over on steam os except you might have a few more stutters and, and hiccups here and there when you're running around this area is the one i said where you'll see almost identical performance to steam os with that 37 to 39 fps especially right here in this spot so that was pretty interesting to see as well that we're that close and of course same idea getting out into a battle here in the open world or in dungeons or whatever especially solo play this does okay for its fps even uncapped just like over on steam os but of course i would burn through my battery much faster this way and we're not giving the system any overhead if we get hit we're going to have dips and stutters so same idea we're going to cap the game to 40 fps i'm going to use rtss here like in my past video to cap the system globally to 40 fps and now we'll have a very clean for the most part 40 FPS experience here, very similar to over on Steam OS. And it works well in the cities and towns, and it works well out in uh, combat and everything as well. Again, sometimes I do experience a little bit more dip or stutter on Windows versus Steam OS, but it has been straightened out a lot, especially with the 40 FPS cap to where most of the time it's very, very similar performance as I get over there. And it holds things really well and it looks really nice. Again, I think though high later on down the road in bigger groups or in end game, might start to cause you a little bit more trouble than maybe medium would when we get into that. And if we jump back over onto one of our main uh, city areas here with the 40 FPS cap, you'll see that uh, performance is very similar to what we were getting with high here and a 40 FPS cap over on SteamOS. So again, if you're wanting to hold 40 even closer, you might want to go with that medium setting here with changing a few of the settings down through here like I did uh, Previously, high on anti-aliasing, clutters at medium, turn distortion off, and this will get you closer to that 40 FPS even in hub areas. It's not perfect, especially this town or this city. It's very difficult, um, so no matter what, we're going to take hits there. But most of the time, though, depending on where you're at in the game, you can get that steadier 40 FPS with these medium settings, a little less pressure on the system and a little easier to run, maybe a little less RAM and VRAM being used. So just overall more overhead. Again, you get into that end game, bigger groups, uh, a lot more going on on screen, which I know is going to happen later on in the game. This might be more the way to go if you're on Windows. I think the same thing over on Steam OS. If um, you're really wanting to hold that 40 with less dips, I think this might wind up being the way to go here. But in like a particular area like this, solo play, going for medium, and jumping right on over to high 
you really won't see a big difference in performance for the most part. You might get some more dips when a lot goes on on screen than you would on medium, and you'll see that here a little bit. But again, performance holds pretty well. So it's going to depend on really what you're looking for out of the game. If you're playing in a lot of groups or end game, or if there's a lot of enemies on screen and where you're at and what kind of player you are, what kind of character you're using. If you really want to go with this high or medium. Now, if you want to go 60 FPS, which I don't think is really necessary on the Steam Deck, this game feels fantastic at 40. You're really stuck in that low area of your settings if you're really going to push and hold 60 FPS in a lot of the area. And I just personally don't think it's worth it when it comes to just how gorgeous this game can look at these medium or high settings with no FSR. It looks really crispy and nice on the Steam Deck screen. Plays really well. It's really smooth. We get decent battery about two hours or more, depending on if you're high or medium. You get about 15 to 20 minutes more battery, it seems like, if you're on medium versus the high, because again, you're not pushing things quite as hard. But it's great to have all these different options on running Diablo here on the Steam Deck and the fact that it's running so well that we do have all these different options depending on how you want to run the game. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.